Right, as I said in the last video that I was going to put up for two days, I was going to take down, which I have done already, just to put a certain message across. I've probably done it about 10 or 15 times during this channel. I normally put videos like that on my other channel. Anyway, this is uh, an idea that I came across just from watching Vlad9VT's channel is a video from about a month ago I can't quite see it the date should be on the picture that I've got in the screen and the name of the video this is a one of those videos where I am not sure what we are looking at here and it's a I'm just leaving it in your hands I'm gonna put some ideas across I don't know if I'm right in any way shape or form I just couldn't put it off could be completely wrong in it if that's the case I will delete it uh, so I will show you what we might be looking at, leave you some comparisons, stick some things on the end just to make it a bit lengthier and then I can get on with the next video which is uh, a site in Mexico, the Teotihuacan. I've made one video on it but we're going to go in more depth of what the site was originally and what archaeologists have since turned it into which is some uh, just pointless platforms making out that some UFOs would just land on there or get into it soon enough so then we've now got our lass's music playing in the background downstairs but I will lay something over it so because this video might be getting deleted anyway so when you go into this site here this supposed gold mine what Vlad's got on his channel as you go through the entrance you will see something like this right and uh, this has been done in recent times I've, I've, I've placed it in the video because if you look at the roof it looks like petrified wood to me uh, but on this next image you can see what all this area is made out of it's just pure lime like what you would make cement out of yes you couldn't go walking on that top section there could you right so whether or not this was some kind of concrete site here that's leached out of the sand in the ways I've shown you it might come into play later when I show you some more of these images now when you look at this thing here and all these next images look I don't know what I'm looking at if it's recent or ancient but this is a great example in what I show normally here that Everything that we look at here on this channel is oxidization, solidification, calcification, petrification. That's why every single thing is here, right? Those are things that exist in reality. So you can see the imprints on the wall of what used to line this place, this tunnel. We call it a gold mine. So I'm just taking you through this site the most interesting images of the entire video that I found interesting for you and we can see what this thing is now made from it's so soft you know it's dangerous in there and it's lining again if that's what it is uh, and then here I'm showing you metal plates I've got a close-up for you over on the right hand side what I, I think it is you can see the oxidization all the way through this thing and just the way it's laid out really so we're just meant to believe that you pick out some cliffside a mountainside somewhere uh, and then start tunneling in in a straight line hoping to get somewhere where there is some gold I just don't think you'd do it like that you know you would dig out a huge area something like 20 foot by 20 well more than that you wouldn't just dig through an entire mountain hoping to get somewhere so is this some type of old structure that's underground and what they have been excavating the gold is something from the past whether or not it's turned into that I don't know but something just doesn't add up with what we're looking at and you can make your own mind up on that you can see some of the imprints it seems similar to recent technology that we have uh, and what I'm comparing here on the left is from this site and on the right is a part of the inner 
section of the Great Pyramid. I'm not saying it's anything like that, I'm just showing you the image and how, it, how similar it seems to be.